So how do you see pattern carpet in a doorway? In this video, I'm gonna break it down for you. What's cracking? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com bringing you the tips, tricks, and strategies to figure out this carpet and flooring game. But check this out here. We have the easiest possible pattern carpet you could install and seam together. The reason I'm doing this is it's gonna be so easy to walk through and we don't have to overthink this here. So we have the hallway lining up with the bedroom here. The pattern on this carpet is nice straight line, so super easy to find the pattern and line it up. Great way for you to practice. Even if you're a DIY person, you can go ahead and take on this project and be just fine. Got a super sharp blade in my knife there and I'm cutting a nice clean line on the carpet. This is gonna be my starting point for the seam. Look how nice that is. Now don't worry, you should probably use a straight edge when you do this. We freestyle everything. So I want you to go ahead and watch what I'm doing and just envision a straight edge on that. So when you do it in your world, you don't have to worry about messing up these cuts at all. Next, I'm taking that straight line I created in the carpet there and I'm putting little notches in the carpet below it. This is basically me creating my template to go ahead and cut this and have it line up perfectly to seam together. So now that I folded it from the back there, we're gonna go ahead and play connect the dots. Now you may be saying, well, why wouldn't you just drag your blade across the top and get a nice clean cut tracing it? You could do that too, but you run the risk of cutting the fibers too much and it'll give you a janky seam. We don't want that. We wanna cut through the backing to preserve all those fibers there and have a beautiful seam when it's all said and done. Now, we're gonna go ahead and finish cutting all the way through this. Do not pull on the piece you're cutting through when you're dealing with pattern carpets or loop carpets because if any of those strings are still attached, you are gonna create a disaster. So that's why we're going a little bit slower on this one. We're gonna finish cutting all the way through there. Everything's good. Boom, got that out of the way. Let's make sure life lines up just right and it looks like we're in good shape here. So we're gonna go ahead and find some seam tape, find a seam iron, Probably could have edited that out, but that's okay there. Look at that cool cuff I got my pant leg there. I might want to fix that next time. Let's go ahead and throw down some seam tape here. I'm going to lob that off. We're going to peel back one piece of the carpet. And we're going to take this seam tape. We're going to fold it up and get it under that other piece of carpet there. You are doing fantastic, by the way. I hope this is going just so well for you on your side of the table. Let's go ahead and get that seam tape under there. Good, good, good. Everything's lined up. All right, cool. We're gonna drop this down, bring the seam iron into play, seam this up, and we are gonna go ahead and get that reward, whatever that may be, whether you're getting the job done or you're grabbing that bag of cash. So we're gonna let the seam iron sit in place for roughly 10 seconds there, and on the seam dial, we're cooking it on four. If you're a DIY person, you're new to this, go ahead and cook it between two and three, do that slow burn, but if you got some skills, do that fast burn, get this job to the finish line so you can get on with life. Now we're gonna go ahead and slide the iron forward nice and slow, we want to make sure that tape is burning evenly all the way through. And since the carpet is open behind the iron, you can just peek back to see when you hit dry tape. Second, you get an iron's length forward, go ahead and stop. Let's start cooking there. And we're going to go ahead and put this first part of the seam together. Now, there's all sorts of tools you could use for this. Us, man, we use those fingertips. You know what I'm saying? Blend it in. Looks beautiful. We're going to go ahead and tuck it in at the door jam there, almost to the finish line. Blending it in, everything's good. Now let's go ahead and get ready. Where am I going? I'm gonna take a kicker, I'm gonna tap it together here, give it a little love tap, make sure it's lining up. Let's go ahead and slide that iron forward there. We're gonna put the middle of the seam together here. Now the iron, or I'm sorry, the kicker, you could use for a couple different reasons. One, if your pattern is jogging off just the slightest bit, you can give it a little tap tap to line that pattern back up. Or if your seam has any little bit of gappage, just tap it together. Do not get aggressive when you're kicking on a seam, just give it what it needs to bring it together and you'll be in good shape. Now we'll go do that little swoop action there to get the iron out of the way. Slide that aside all cool like. Now we're going to go ahead and put the seam together. Look at that. Just nice even Stevens blending it in. We're going to tuck down the one end, blend those fibers together, and that's how you do it. Nothing to it at all. Anybody could do this game. A couple simple tools and you're ready to rock. Now if you have any questions about the carpet and flooring industry, go ahead and drop those comments down below. I'll try and create follow-up videos answering your questions for you. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.